Mick Dizzle Gaming coming at you. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you were doing well today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe to keep up to date on legendary gaming news, live streams, data mining, glitches, and a whole lot more. Almost two years after Cyberpunk's disastrous release, it is a super hot game. It's in the top 10 Steam played games. And each day this week, a million people have been playing Cyberpunk. That's pretty crazy. How do we get from that mess of a game that launched in December 2020 to what we have now? CD Projekt Red ate their vitamins and said their prayers, brother. Nah, no, just kidding. Two things. The game got vastly improved since launch, and the Edge Runners Netflix series, which if you haven't seen, is really good, and I'm not even a big fan of anime. CD Projekt Red definitely knows how to utilize Netflix to rejuvenate a franchise as they did with The Witcher, as well as now with Cyberpunk and the Edge Runners show. If you watched Edge Runners, let me know if you enjoyed it. Although we would have loved to see this work happen before launch, CD Projekt Red has put a significant amount of work in updates, various features, and more, including things like adding modding support and embracing it. Gee, it would be nice if Rockstar did that a little bit more, right? Instead, take two tens to sue modders from time to time. Is everything perfect? Not at all. There's still a number of items that CD Projekt Red wants to address, including the police system. What do we know about the future of Cyberpunk? Well, a bunch of things. One, there's going to be a revamp to the police system, and two, there's going to be a revamp to melee as well as car combat. I've left a link to the developer video on this if you want to see more. Additionally, we know there's only one major DLC planned for Cyberpunk that is coming out next year. During a recent investor call, the VP of Business Development stated that they have decided to develop one major expansion for Cyberpunk, which is going to take advantage of all the capabilities of the new generation consoles. Having said that, they are totally committed to developing the Cyberpunk IP further beyond this particular Cyberpunk expansion. They put a lot of effort and time building into the franchise, and they definitely want to continue to build upon what was built right now with new stories, new experiences, new content, basically not just in video game format in terms of expansions. There's just going to be one major expansion, however, there's going to be new stuff in the future. That is very broad as it just doesn't mean video games, it means additional media like TV, books, those type of things, so who knows how they plan on developing this IP further. Maybe it's a sequel. All in all, we're in a pretty good place with the game. Of course, there is still some glitches, but if you're okay with that, you can have a really fun experience in Night City. And I'm saying this from a next-gen console and PC perspective. I know the experience for last-gen console owners isn't great, as Edge Runners will be the last major DLC that they will get. And again, there's also some lingering disappointment of what could have been with an additional expansion making it the two that they did say initially, as well as the cancelled multiplayer. Perhaps these are things that we will get in the future. What about you? Would you like to play a Cyberpunk multiplayer game? If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We covered a lot in a short amount of time because I respect your time. We covered why Cyberpunk is so hot right now and what is upcoming. If there's any news or updates, I'll make sure to keep you up to speed on it. If you like Cyberpunk and you like content that doesn't waste your time, consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.